Welcome to Coyote Academy. It's not just a hobby, but a way of life. Oh yeah, we have a double. Coyote Academy. like a pretty big cat. Looks like he was uh, attacked on that back leg of his. Buried in that duke too, aren't you, buddy? As easy as that. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I uh, told you I would show you how to do a pipe set. Um, it's my rendition of the pipe set. It's not um, you know, the pipe dream set or, or whatnot. It follows the same principles, but it's not set and made the exact same way. So, I just use Schedule 40 conduit, just like the set calls for. So find a grass tuff, just find a nice old grass tuff, go into it. So. That pipe is down in the ground, it's not showing above the grass tuff. The grass tuff is just the eye, eye appeal. So I could put the attractant down into that pipe um, pretty easy. And that grass tuff will kind of act like a like an attractant for, for any canine or predator coming through. I have uh, some uh, coyote tracks crossing through this uh, little pathway where it's a um, crop field and then uh, grass field open pasture. So put that in. So and then we'll get our trap. Like I said, I like to use the MB 550s for this. So we'll get the trap. We'll find where the pipe is. We'll go about you know eight, nine inches back. So I've done this a few times, so I kind of got a gauge for where I want it to be. And then I'll just dig, dig out a little, just a little circle where my trap trap was so just a little impression where my trap was I take that take that big hunk of dirt and I just toss it out into the pathway so that way they'll be attracted to where you know that that dirt came from or they'll see that dirt and maybe start milling around a little bit so I got my spot dug out for my trap 
So it's just going to sit on here on these four points. So I'll hammer a spot in for where my levers are going to be. Set the trap. Night latch. Hear that click? It means it's ready to go. So, got the spot ready. Push it in. The trap's rock solid. Not going anywhere. So I don't use a pan cover, um, the typical wire screen pan cover like, um, you know, it was wrote out to be used for. I, I don't use it because I use an MB 550 for these. Um, I don't use a Jake trap. Jake trap is a square, perfectly squared trap, so the, the screen fits really well into it. Um, so I just use peat moss. Peat moss as a cover works great. This is just dry peat moss that I've had stored uh, and I transferred over into my dry bag. But just put peat moss on top of it, find the pan, and I press down. Now, I don't put a lot of peat moss on, and I use the iodized salt. That I I salt will give me a little wiggle room. So I've got it covered with peat moss, just a light covering. You can kind of see my pan right now showing. I just uh, take these grass clippings. Just a little bit of grass clippings. I uh, use a yard sweeper in the summer and, and collect the grass clippings. So I let them dry out in the sun and then I store them in, the, in my garage. And I'll just take a little bit of dust, a little snow powder, and dust it. And I like to make sure everything's tamped down. So that's, uh, that's your finished set. Um, all I have to do now is just uh, bait and lure the pipe and um, I like to do that with uh, that Jameson bait, bobcat meat bait, and then I'll use a gland lure. So get this taken care of and uh, see you guys down the line. So I'll just take a little bit of the bobcat meat. And it goes right down into there. On top of that, I'll put a gland lure in the I'll put a gland lure also with it. So that's your finished set. And then all I do is just kind of cover up that pipe. Keeps it, I just cover up that pipe so it keeps it out of weather and that's what we're working with. So that is uh, my rendition of the pipe set. It's, you know, pretty similar. I just don't use any uh, screen pan cover. Um, I've used them, I just, it's easier for me just to go through and I don't use the jig trap, so I, you know, I don't have that perfect square. Um, I'm using the 550s and this works for me. So whatever works for you, it's fine. You know, different strokes, different folks. So I have this uh, crop field and there's a crossover that's going into a pasture field. There's coyote tracks crossing through here. I just took uh, that chunk of dirt out, tossed it out into the travel way, and then that in itself 
has good eye appeal. I'm playing the prevailing wind, so the wind should be blowing uh, from right of the screen to the left of the screen. So using my commercial bait and lure, I should have a good chance of picking up the, the passers-by. So 